Have you run into a situation where someone says, my 95 percentile is 30 milliseconds, or my 99 percentile is 100 milliseconds, or my 99.999949s is 1000 milliseconds? And you wonder what that means. In this video, we're gonna explain percentiles and how they can help in measuring our request latencies in our backend applications. Let's just jump into it. So the question is why? Why do we need another measurement metrics, right? Always why? And uh, the answer is like, let's say you made a million requests to your backend and uh, you say to your customers that, by the way, my minimum latency of the request is one millisecond. That doesn't mean anything because there could be a lot of other requests that took more than one millisecond. So telling me the minimum is not, not enough, right? Uh, same thing with the maximum. Hey, the maximum we got was uh, actually just uh, uh, 300 milliseconds. That doesn't tell the whole story as well, right? You could be all of your requests are 299 milliseconds and the largest one happened to be 300. So your backend is atrocious in that case as well. It doesn't reveal a lot of information. So how about the average? Hey, uh, my average is only 300 milliseconds. That can be unfair as well because your backend could be performing beautifully, right? All one, two millisecond, one, two millisecond. And that could be this occasional two or three requests that took, I don't know, 10 minutes to, <laughs> to finish for some reason, right? And uh, that will just pollute your average because if you take the average, then that large latency is gonna pollute the whole thing. So what do we do? People invented this concept of percentile. And the idea is, hey, when I say 95%, percentile is 30 milliseconds that means 95 of my requests are below 30 milliseconds when i say 99 percent uh, percentile is 10 milliseconds that means 99 percent of my requests are less than 10 milliseconds so let's explain how this is actually calculated let's say you made 10 requests and each request will take obviously different amount of time to execute so it will have different latency so the first thing you need to do to calculate the percentile is sort this damn thing, right? Just go ahead and sort it. So from the minimum to the maximum, the minimum request is one millisecond. The maximum is 120 milliseconds. So we have this beautiful array or maybe sorted in the database. doesn't matter. So when I say I want to find my 75 percentile latency, what is that? What you do is basically you take 75 percent times the number of requests that you have, and that will give you 0.75 times 10. That's 7.5. You round it to the next integer, that gives you eight. Eight is the index where you find that value. And I know indexes start from zero, but let's assume start from one in this case. And eight in this case is 11 milliseconds. So that means 75% of my requests are less than 11, 11, milli, are less than 11 milliseconds. So now if I say 90%, what's my 90% percentile? Well, times 9.9 times 10, that's nine. Nine is that value, which is 100 milliseconds so my 90 percent uh, percentile is 100 milliseconds so that means 90 percent of my requests that i make in this back end are less than 100 milliseconds and that can give you more information it's like okay that's good how about your 99 percent 99 percent of the requests that i made are less than 120 milliseconds and this is a bad example because i have very few requests obviously to to actually measure your back end you need at least tens of hundreds and thousands of requests to give you an approximate value that actually useful. If you have like 10, it doesn't make any sense to, to kind of color, but I'm, I was giving you the kind of the formula in this case. So, so now that's it. And people add more and more nines and nines and nines to kind of show off their uh, percentage. So if someone still told you that, hey, my 99.9999 four nines uh, percentile is actually 10, 10, 10 milliseconds. You say, whew, dude, you're always, your tail latency is pretty good. 10, 10 milliseconds. I'm going to take that, obviously. Right? But if you think about it, that also is kind of an approximation. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good approximation. That's why you have to ask other values as well. You cannot just say, hey, 99.999. Because, hey, Maybe the whole backend is just all the requests are taking nine milliseconds. Who knows, right? So what do you do essentially is you ask the selection, oh, what is now your 95%, right? If they, if they say 95 percentile is, is nine, then you start raising some eyebrows. Okay, 
all right, yeah, you told me that your 99 was 10 million seconds, but your 95 is not any better, right? And if you ask that question, even go lower, 75%, what's your 75% uh, percentile? Well, it's uh, 8 milliseconds. Okay, you, you see this guy is bluffing, right? Or gal. But essentially, still 10 milliseconds is pretty good if you think about it, guys. But you, you, you see what I'm going. So what's the disadvantages of this approach? This advantage is, as you say, it's an approximation. So you have to ask a lot of questions to get to the bottom of things. And also, is you cannot calculate another disadvantage, if I would call it a disadvantage, is you cannot calculate percentiles easily. If you have a millions and millions of requests, you gotta sort that damn thing, right? So... I mean, you can store it in a database sorted and let the database do the work, but that's kind of an additional cost. That's it, guys. That was percentile. I'm going to make another video showing you an example of how percentiles work. But hope you benefit of this video. Hope you learned something. I'm going to see you on the next one. Hit that like button and subscribe for more uh, back-endish stuff. Going to see you on the next one. Goodbye.